well right we can continue our poem rice written by chairman m chako right i think we have to here finish in the second stanza and third stanza we want to start right right jackson will stop when they see me walking with my suitcase yes here another scene uh, he, while he was in village that means he is walking towards his home the oxen will stops what is the connection of oxen here oxen is now doing its job that wants to plowing the soil that time oxen stop to see walking with my suitcase uh, that means oxen is quite familiar with the poet that's why he is uh, still stops sometimes and my father what she is what he is doing without smiling the smile slowly forming on his lips yeah some changes comes in the side of his father's too will call from the field and when did you start from there yeah that's a very good question asked to his son when did you start from there yes that's a common question that has come so that is a that uh, four lines says about that means why he was returned to his village that time dogs and so and stop with his suitcase and the father sat at it also and his question also we can dealt the next stanza my little brother yes carrying the tender sapling to be planted in the field where his ploughing is done will run when he see me and call out loud within ear shot of his house mother brother arrive that is very interesting for a long time uh, his brother didn't see him so that's why he is uh, with a loud voice and joy he informed their mother that means boy arrive it means is a sensor connected to little brother what he is doing he said Uh, doing that at uh, sapling the tender uh, okay in this uh, ploughing this uh, time and he is turned fastly to his home and so informed her mother the, our brother that means his brother will come or the poet will come okay that's the stanza said it that means different scene the poet so while he returned him while he was in train right walking cautiously along the dick uh, dick is this uh, what you call as the uh, we can uh, what is it uh, we can make a round shape or square shape to place in deep in order to store the water understood that is uh, dick so not as upset the basket is full of seed i reach home in good time at last just as my mother drains the well cooked rice oh train will you run a little faster let me get home quickly and eat my fill yes here he is very eager to eat the ticket a race so he blame the train why this train is very slow I want to become fast i want to see my village i want to see my uh, people i want to moreover i want to eat my atikara rice so he is blame the train because of train maybe according to him the train is very slow not fast okay walking cautiously very carefully which is uh, what is that you know malayalam we can call as varambath uh, paadathinte varambath koodi nadakkunu right along the day as not to upset the baskets full of seed that means the seeds one no no in order to cultivate this uh, paddy i will reach home in good time by right, a good time that is a perfect time for eat at the garden that's here good time said it at last just as my mother's drains as well as cooked here cooked rice oh then train will run little left faster let me get home quickly and eat my fill yes here he lost his two sense of his blame he is uh, traveling them in train and we want to become fast in order to eat 
you want to very ambitious and eager to eat the atikara rice and another line says about the good time the good time is maybe uh, the eating time that may be lunch i mean that's why mother is now is cooking his rice so here is good time and he's walking uh, in the paddy field is here mentioned in the first two lines are there okay let us see the second page okay well that means now he is uh, completing his dreams from the train and he is now walking in the village okay the bus stops bus stops on the road across from this house yes when i left to this place the palm thatched houses could be seen in the distance on the right but now there is nothing yes while we returned to north india for his studies there was a palm thatched tailed house but now when he returned back from north india to his village you know he didn't see that particular house in that place except for trees how the place has changed now he understood some changes already occurs in his village that is his uh, four lines said about okay then what are the other things are he saw the changes rubber plants comes out twice my height yes rubber plants is very height one no? yes double my heights now stands in rows around me on the ridge yes that place is also a uh, dik means exactly we can call as varamb that's a malayalam usage okay for this uh, water is in both side in the middle there is a place you can call dik that's varamb and here is what is it called yeah how the places has changed here is that means the change then food crops is changed into cash crops that is the meaning of how the place has changed and this palm thatched the house that means all a man build that is also changing now so these are uh, seen so by poet while he was returning from his uh, study after study from north india to uh, his village okay then what is it rubber plants twice my height now stand in rows that means now stand in rows means here rubber plant in a row row by by one by one by one around me on the ridge okay around me on the ridge okay then what is it okay you want to know the about the meaning ridge ridge means the last place that means atop last place is called ridge okay then were were modern and vellaran modern and vellaran here is uh, we can in the last of this page is uh, written that is a modern and vellaran variety of paddy the paddy seeds name is said modern and vellaran like atikara there is another piece of uh, seeds as here modern and vellaran there is a paddy seed so where marana and vellaran used to be sown sown means malayalam plant i mean sorry plant <coughs> and confuse my path as i walk home so you now confused whether this way is to my home because he saw so many changes what are this that mean palm thatched houses already changed and there comes building and uh, what is the rubber plants comes out there is no uh, tree coconut trees are there and it is comes very high and at the same time uh, it was in the row up to one side to other side completely rubber and there are two uh, we are they are used to plant what modern modern and vellaran that's a what is a variety of paddy seeds uh, that was also not find out and so he confused poet confused the way that means to his home whether uh, i did, i did a mistake is this the correct way to my home or not because he is so different changes in the here and the or surroundings of his village so then what is that 
Next slide. There is no bachelor of men's below. Bachelor of men's below here means what is it? Energy of collective group. That means there is no sounds. There is no group of men below. That means that if we are cultivating them, too much people are gathering together, making sounds, singing the songs, and they are very enthusiastically uh, doing these walks in the muddy field. But here is there is no sounds, bachelor of men's below, group of men's not below there. No shouts of flowing. Yeah. And when I look, there is no group of men there, there is no sounds, there is no shouts. The whole field is planted over with arachnid palms. Yes. Now they plant cash crops instead of food crops. Rubber is cash crops and another cash crop is arachnid palms. Arachnid means what is that? Aleka. Yeah. Now he saw the different side means rubber and arachnid plants. And in the corner along the canal stand the dillwood trees. Dillwood street means here soft wood trees also. Dillwood tree means soft wood trees. That also another cash crops instead of food crops. Here yeah, rubber, arachnid, dillwood trees also uh, planted here and there. So these are the changes. And moreover, there is no sounds. There is no bachelorments. There is no plowing. There is no uh, shout. There are all comes changes and trees also. Then instead of coconut tree, here is see rubber at the same time arachnid and deal wood trees. So these are the changes. So he is confused about this way, whether it is a correct way to my home. Okay. Next, I enter the house. Then the, he saw so many things in surroundings while on while on his way to home. Now he saw some changes in his house itself. What are the changes in the house we can discuss? I entered the house. I mean the poet entered the house. Beyond the southern wing. Beyond southern wing means there is a, in all the style of house, there is a different sides of doors are there. A Malayalam it is called a tekkini. Yeah. Southern wing. My father is watching them fix up the machine. There he saw his father is busy with the fixing the machine. What type of machine is there? For making rubber sheets. Have you ever seen rubber sheet? Yes. That rubber sheet is now constructing uh, from the machine. That machine is now fixing. That means and the father also changing from his mind and his attitude and his view. Father only changed. He understood that. Uh, and also he also more interested in uh, planting uh, cash crops instead of food crops because according to I already told in summary according to him that is profitable which is profitable planting cash crops is profitable instead of food crops that's why he is constructing a machine in the near the house to produce more rubber sheets how happy he became happy and contented contented he was satisfied the look on his face he understood that he was happy and uh, satisfied from his face itself who poet okay that is the line said about the some changes occur in the members of the members of the family especially father's mind is we can understood even father also change uh, his attitude view and ideas okay then my father says with the obvious pride obvious means clear definitely clear pride what his father says, son, we have stopped working on all the rice. Yes, it's very pridely say that. We have stopped. We have stopped the cultivation of paddy. That means rice. It was quite inconvenient. That means it is too much expensive, too much uh, uh, inconvenient. That means uh, too much people wanted flowing, wanted seeds, wanted uh, muddy water, wanted to stand a long time. Too much people uh, wanted the money and everything. He said the inconvenience of the construction or cultivation of paddy or rice. The farmer gained nothing. Yes, the farmer gained nothing. There is no profit for rice and paddy or food crops. 
only fools turn to rice farming for gain yes he add, added another uh, disadvantages inconvenience that's what he said the only fools are doing now cultivating food crops other people not cultivating food crops because it is not gained anything it is not profitable that is why only people who are fools they are cultivating for food crops or paddy or rice this is better money what good times yes this is better money means cash crops is cultivating is now good money that is a better for time also he justified i mean father justify his idea and action towards his son the government gives rice to those who don't have paddy field yes the government also give rice in the way of store ration shop then what is the need for to cultivate in the paddy field even government also give as a rice those who have no paddy field then we don't need to cultivate what paddy field or rice it is gain nothing it is not profitable it is inconvenient all then in fools only to construct such kinds of things as to. so i already change my views i already change my idea and dream to uh, cultivating food crops to cash crops now i am give more preference for cash crops that's a idea he exhibit in front of his son okay so the house members also change especially his head of this family man also change that is astonished by surprised by our poet okay then my little brother another member the little brother was what she what he say my little brother runs into meet me yes for a long time i didn't see his brother so little brother very warmly welcome i eager to have a full meal of atikara rice is he still is waiting for his want to take a meal good meal with the atikara rice he is carrying the rations for the whole household there is now he carrying is it uh, coming from the ration shop with the carrying the uh, wheat and other things from the shop or uh, ration shop household things his trips to over trips to over means here yeah, take down trips over something and scatters here yeah, trips over means what is the meaning is written is trips over a uh, trips over means tumble i mean we can't say proper words means proper words stumble that mean over something and scatter the wheat all over the yard yes now he is doing what is that he is instead of paddy he is giving more preference for wheat that is also uh, did by his another family member that means his brother above us that means a ship of the sky that means he has ship of the sky means aeroplane what is a ship of the sky maybe comes in pa- paragraph questions line or you should have to know about that what is here mentioned ship of the sky this aeroplane mentioned ship of the sky roars not words that means above the sky drowning my brother's loud cries yes his brother may be very young and is the village people are very eager to watch the aeroplane and making sound that means here satire used to the satire and sarcasm the chief here is a correct sarcasm is the next line the chief ministers of like an arrow to the sender yes now chief minister is maybe uh, going by aeroplane to the central government to asking delhi for asking uh, climber I mean ask climber means ask for more grains more food grains for kerala now flying high yes that is the Uh, aeroplanes uh, emphasis here what is that in aeroplane our chief minister are going to send a meet center government that is in delhi for what for asking more rice because now the people are not cultivating rice in kerala they it is not sufficient in kerala that's why they are ready to begging what rice uh, from uh, the from the center government Uh, now they are flying that is the aeroplane you mentioned about the cash crops yes now growing tall like a trees yes the cash crop is very tall rubber is here the arecade also very tall trees you know 
since no one here promotes the farming of rice. Yes, still, here Kerala people, I mean this village people, not interested to cultivate the uh, what uh, rice or paddy. We are cultivating only arecanet and rubber. That's in very big and tall one. Okay, here is satar issues. What is that? Can we get some husk from the center too? Because he is studying what is that? Making toy with a husk. That means umi. Yeah. Then he is uh, what is mockingly or jokingly or this is the correct satire and uh, sarcasm used to hear that. Can we get, he asked uh, to the minister, can we get some husk from the sender? From the rice also, you may be asked from the sender. And you please ask the husk also for what? Make toys with it. I don't know. That is, here is, he is, uh, I told that he is there doing, uh, uh, means PhD. Uh, while he was in North India, completed the course. That means what is uh, making toys with the husk. Then he needed husk for making toys. That is also he used to uh, combat here rice also. So here is a uh, lost is the sense of self confidence. We can see from here that is a lost of sense of self confidence he has lost. Uh, from these lines we can understand that. And the satire and sarcasm is mostly used as from here from the chief minister line to up to this last line. Okay. That's about this uh, poem. And here see the photos of this uh, Chamana Chako and Ayyapa Panika. And the word meaning is also here is there. All right. That's mostly connects with the appreciation or critical appreciation of the poem. So you must be gave more preference for sarcasm and satire. That's a critical. Uh, appreciation of the poem is when needed. The same page is as she comes here. Okay. There is a, this, this is a note you want to write that one. Prepare critical appreciation of the poem in the light of your response to the question above. Yeah, actually the appreciation done by not the authority, that means done by you. Your view, you criticize, criticize the poem and criticizes some of the things in this uh, poem. And your view you have to write. So very brilliantly here. The right answer is here. Among the great poets in Malayalam. From this you want to write. Not in the top. You must be right. Here is the answer. And the next page also. This continuing its answer. So you want to write this. Or other things you want to write. You should have to write this. And you get more idea about this poem. Anyway. Uh, it should be cast this. That means second term examination, December examination it will ask and also final examination also. These types of questions will come, definitely come. So you must be know about the poem correctly. You must be know about the poem's message, um, uh, sarcasm and satirism. Uh, what is the attitude of these people from here to the, everything you want to know that. Uh, so then only you can uh, write it very nicely. Uh, with a jaw mocking or a sarcasm and in the way of uh, satire, uh, then only you can write it. So you must be read the poems four or five, six times, then you can easily understand this. All right. So this is this answers. So if you want to write this, the most important is criticism. And you want to write other things also, you can write. But critical appreciation is one of the important in the questions. So you should write that. Okay, then. Mm, different questions, have so jumble questions, uh, maybe you can get it. Okay, so, uh, let us answer, let us say so some of the questions are here. All right, okay. What does the, well, what does the ship of the sky represents? What is that, what does anyone can say? Ship of the sky, that's in inverted comma is the last, least lines are here. That means above us, the ship of the sky Roars northwards. Ship of the sky here says about the aeroplane. Okay. And can we get husk from the center too to make toys with it? Bring out the satire in these lines. Yes, it was for making toys out of the husk. It's a great, uh, got his doctorate degree and was highly praised by the scholars in North India. Just as Prophet is not identifying his own land, rice and husk are rejected as soon as non-profitable. 
people of kerala do not know the value of such food crops and they run for quick cash that mean cash crops they are interested in cash crops the poet satirizes on these thoughts attitude of our people yes here poet is really criticize the people of kerala we are behind the cash crops we want more profit we never care about our uh, food crops that is his used it to say that can we get some husk from the center that is a satire that means husk asking his is a very different you know that is why he is here satire used then the narrator wants to train move his little faster what does this tell about his feeling for his native village that means he is now i already told uh, blame the train very slow is it so that is why uh what does this tell about his feeling of his native village that mean he longed to be in his homeland to join the hustle and bustle of the village at the earliest and enjoy everything there so that mean he want to eagerly to reach in the villages and to uh, maintain his connection with the that is why he say that uh, what is that the train is very slow and this actually the train is not slow but he felt the train is a little bit slow that is so about his eagerness to reach in the village okay then what changes in this native village just a narrator notice on this return how can see that so many changes as so we can see here is it let us see that so many changes on his return he finds that the place are completely changed tall rubber trees have been the place of rich paddy field yes the rubber trees we can see instead of paddy field there is no sound nobody is busy with the paddy cultivation his father quietly sits watching the people fix up the machine for making rubber sheets he sees changes in attitude too his attitude also changes so these are the changes so by our poet okay the next question is sir just to discuss rubber plants have taken the place of paddy what does this imply this implies change the attitude of people yes that means Uh, not for the profitable but uh, much also we can say that the changing attitude also we can see by the cultivation of paddy uh, i mean gas crops instead of food crops changing attitude at the same time profitable mind of the people we can see here and only fools turn the rice farming for gain who said it i mean poet father said it is it why does the father, father say so it sounds foolish to him to cultivate paddy as the government gave rice to those who have no paddy field he, pr- he proudly thinks to make money on one side and they availing all government allotments that mean government also allow, uh, allowed to give something and money also that's better for our uh, cash crops instead of food crops that is why he said like said like this only fool can cultivate now food crops or paddy or rice okay this question also uh, we want to know that if any question comes out you must be ready for to write so you should have to you will read the poem more time that is these things you must be know that okay why does the father wear contemporary look yes that means father wears a contemporary look because his attitude has completely changed and he has become modern too he seems to be happy and content with his modern lifestyle yes father's also change why he is change i mean we know the reason for that okay then what changes have occurred in this lifestyle of the farmers when farmers shifted from food crops to cash crops the whole life change they no longer have to walk in day and mud yes there is no hustle and bustle that's the two words you must be important bhasan and bhasan mean sound and group no shouts for ploughing they have learned to live with the rations given by the governments yes changes okay then satir that means some satirical words we can say that where we can find out the satir satir says here sir my father says with obvious pride son we have stopped working on all the rice it was quite inconvenient cite other instances of satire in the poem that means this is one of the site i mean satire and another 
satire words we want to see lines we can see first one my little brother not at that my little brother runs into the meet me i eager to have a full meal at the kerala rice he is carrying the ration for the whole household he strips over something and scatters over what all over yard that is the one satire section another one above a ship for the sky uh, roll northwards drowning my brother loud cries the chief ministers of like an arrow to the center to climb are the more grains now flying high above the cash shops now growing red tall like is trees since no one had promotes the farming rice this is a second stanza second uh, think about this uh, satire way and third uh, third section is that can we get some husk from this center to it make toys with it i don't know this are all satirical verses satirical line we should have to know about that one uh that's about today uh, we will continue to our next class okay thank you very much take care